it's such a friggin cliche christianese thing god loves a cheerful giver it does my head in hearing that but i think today the penny finally dropped welcome to the bible in one year podcast brought to you by two brits and a bible if you like the idea of a casual but meaningful chat about the bible with a couple of mates listen in something in here could be good for you to hear today Today is day 140, covering 2 Chronicles 35 and 36. If you need an overview of those chapters, they're in the description. Well, thank you very much for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, haven't done much of an accent today, but I wanted to do a proper one, because today, and not only marks a download from Ireland, missed download in there. Whoa, I went very wrong. I'll keep going in the Irish though, because I quite like it. But the whole reason for doing a nice big grand one is the fact that as of this week, two Brits and a boy will have officially made 1,000 downloads. Oh, it's like that word download just kept throwing me. But yeah, yeah. we have 1,000 downloads. That is strictly on the audio. So thank you to everyone who has downloaded, whether you've downloaded it or not. If you've heard, if this is your first episode, if this is your 100 and what are we on, 40th something like that thank you thank you for listening whether you've taken anything away from it hopefully you have great the fact that you haven't like reported us to anyone who got kicked <laughs> off the air thank you we just really appreciate it we've learned a lot through doing this and we're looking forward to what the rest of it brings as well but seriously we really appreciate it yeah i uh, amen to that man like we actually we sort of prayed as one of our milestones to get to a thousand downloads didn't we yeah we had no idea how long it would take we had no idea if we even you know managed to to get this far and stuff but it's worked out and it's fantastic the reason adam did a irish accent other than because he's really good at it i would say it's one of your strong parts of your repertoire other than maybe the word download is one of the downloads in the last week was from from ireland as well so indeed. whoever that is thank you for tuning in the one the one irish at the moment but the us force keeps strong the uk force keeps strong and everyone else we're just glad to hear from you so Absolutely. so and yeah. also, I suppose, a, th- a shout out and a thank you to Joshua Canal and Nathan Senior for appearing in a um, Sharpen Your Sword series. We are going to be having some more of those. We didn't in uh, March. Apologise, work and life just sort of got in the way. But we will be having some more Sharpen Your Sword apologetics. If there are topics that you want to hear about on apologetics and stuff like that, feel free to drop us a message, drop it in the comments, whatever, engage with us on social media. But yeah, should we crack on with today's episode, fella? Yeah, I think that's a good call. Um, so I think it's technically me, but kind of you. Could you have a general comment, which I think we vetoed as a starting point, Well, this right? is pulling across stuff from yesterday, because this today... Oh, then it's definitely you. Yeah, today's on chapters <laughs> Sorry, five and my bad. six, so we're on the end of the yeah. Chronicles today. But yeah, my bad. I do, uh, mention a couple of things, because we're talking about Josiah. Firstly... Uh, in his eighth year of his reign, he took over when he was eight. So he was about 16. And it says, while he was young, he began to seek the Lord. Do it like teach your kids to do this stuff because it's so important. Um, in 3419, the book of the law is found again, stuff that we've covered before. And it's presented to Josiah. When he hears it, he tore his robes. Firstly, it's a shout out to, again, the tailors of Bronze Age Middle Earth who are making a thing anytime <laughs> someone gets a bad bit of news. But what I took from this was actually it is when we hear something that is to do with our sin, we should react. We should hear something and react. We shouldn't just take it on board and be like, oh, yeah, like it should lead us to action. And so yeah. that's the kind of thing. Um, and because of that response, God still had sort of said he's going to wipe out Israel. And that's when they get kicked out of Jerusalem and stuff like that. But it actually delayed that. And so yeah. Josiah's response, because of the way he acted righteously, it kind of spared his own life and that of his immediate family. So the way we respond in those moments actually has a huge consequence. Good. Yeah, dude, that bit about, you know, when thing we should move and take action that I want to specifically say that's good. Just formally, there was a lot of good in there, but that particular bit really like hit me and is incredible. Um, I think, I love Josiah generally as a king. I just want to say about 2 Chronicles 35, 7. Um, Josiah provided for all the lay people who were there, a total of 30,000 lambs and goats for the Passover offerings and 3,000 cattle, all from the king's own possessions. I just put a 
very simple comment. I said, that's a king right there. But also it links to David, I think, because David donated all of his yeah. gold and silver for the temple that his son Solomon would then go on to build, right? So that's the kind of leader. If you're in a leadership role, if you ever get those kind of opportunities in your life, be at work or in church or anything else, be the kind of leader that Jesus taught us to be ultimately putting sacrifice from your own yeah. you know, stock. Um, you know, you, you're not going to be as good as Jesus, spoiler alert, but you, you can do your best. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just love that. That's cool. So, um, yeah. And then straight after that as well, verse eight, his officials also contributed voluntarily. Yeah. And it's yeah. this, this thing about being a cheerful giver, it's such a friggin' cliche christianese thing god loves a cheerful giver it does my head in hearing that but i think today the penny finally dropped god doesn't need our money god doesn't need our tithes and our contributions he wants us to trust him he wants us to give willingly and generously knowing that everything comes from him and we're just giving back to him and the sand thing he will give us more in return we don't know what that'll look like but right. he doesn't want it out of a fine if i must here take it kind of thing he wants it to be willing and cheerful and loving because he doesn't need it he's not doing it because he's you know he's a counselor yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah right just yeah trust god it's the only thing in the bible that says you can test him on it. i can't remember where it is but you can test god i will put a link to that for the biblical scripture in time yeah. do it yeah absolutely um absolutely i can't believe the time has gone this much already i was going to say a bit more there but let's leave it there you, like awesome um jeremiah composed laments for Josiah when he dies. And to this day, all the male and female singers commemorate Josiah in the laments. And they're even in a tradition in Israel that are written in the laments, Chronicle, Second Chronicle 35, 25. So, you know, we've had kings like Joram where uh, no one, was that how we pronounced his name? Joharam? Anyway, that king that it basically said everyone was glad he was yeah. dead, basically. No one lamented it. It's a great sign when people, you know, I suppose in a nutshell, try and be the kind of person that people will miss when you go. And everyone was so sad to see Josiah going. Yeah. And it's part of history now as a result of how good he was to, and how God worked through him. Yeah, absolutely. Though even he stumbled because at the end, yeah. he actually uh, essentially followed the concern of, well, just didn't listen to Nietzsche, Nick Neko, whatever, who sent messages yeah. and there's no quarrel, what are you doing? ignored it carried on you can live a fantastic life but you failed to hear god once and it could lead to death like you have to maintain that obviously this is old covenant stuff etc etc yeah but yeah, still you're absolutely right but and that's the whole thing right what i love about the bible is it, it you know it doesn't shy away from the fact every character or not character in the sense of a character in a story but every person's character is shown as it really is which is flawed every single one apart from Jesus, of course. Yeah. Um, final thing I have, and we actually don't have that much time, long quote from, or long extract, or whatever, verse, sorry, from Seth, I, I'm an English teacher, I do a lot of quotes and extracts, my bad. 2 Chronicles 36, 15 through 17. Basically, I just wanted to say it's the story of mankind summed up pretty well here. God sends out word through messengers again and again. He takes pity on his people, but the people mock God, scoff at God and eventually sort of deservingly incur his wrath to some extent, and then they're brought up and killed, and then, you know, it's just this cycle. I just thought it was cool to read that. Yeah. Um, accept yeah. God or effectively suffer the consequences to some extent. It's that, it's that simple, really. That's good. Awesome. Um, one last, I suppose, a couple of last things. Earlier in 2 Chronicles 35, it references the ark being put back in the temple. Nowhere else did it reference being taken out, but obviously a bunch of different kings did a bunch of stupid stuff. So obviously was taken out because he puts it back. Then I love in 36 verse 21, the la this is after then they've been kicked out of Jerusalem. It says the land enjoyed its Sabbath rests all the time of desolation. It rested until 70 years were completed in fulfillment of the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. Just, it, it says in so far back in the Old Testament now, how you're supposed to let land rest. Obviously they hadn't been doing this. They hadn't been following the law, but at this stage, the land's like, ah, oh, I have a breather. <laughs> a lovely cup of tea. That's fantastic. Beauty. Tomorrow's reading's Ezra, one, two, and three. So why don't you beef people pick up your Bible, get yourself reading. In the meantime, please consider joining us on social media at Two Grits in the Bible and sharing this with someone to help spread the word of God. 